So hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today and welcome to a Steam Deck video. I haven't done a Steam Deck video in a while, but in this video, we're going to be talking about gacha games on the Steam Deck. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because recently my iPad videos have begun really popular re recently, and specifically for the gaming aspect, the iPads are pretty great for mobile games, but in this video, I want to bring out the Steam Deck because there are a lot of current like really popular mobile gacha games that are available on PC. So I wanted to go ahead and test performance on the Steam Deck and compare it to the iPad in terms of just, not just performance, but just experience. And then determining if it's best if you want. And, and mainly answering the question on if you should get a Steam Deck purely to play your gacha games, or if you should go for something like an M1 iPad Air, which is around the same price at this point. Point in time so yeah I know this is a really weird comparison but bear with me it's mainly for those who play these types of games only so yeah anyways we're gonna be going through three games today which is Zenla Zone, Honkai Star Rail, and Wuthering Waves these are like three of the most popular mobile games currently and yeah without further ado let's hop into it all right so first off let's start with the newest game on the block which is Zenla Zone Zero now as you can see here we're basically hitting around the native resolution at high to medium settings. I uncapped the frame rate as well just to see how far I can push the game. And starting off, you can see here that we have pretty respectable performance above 60 FPS, but as we get into this boss fight here, the frame rate will drop to around like 40 to 50. But something I did notice was that the frame rate is a very stable 40 to 50 to 60 FPS. Like it fluctuates, but it surprisingly doesn't feel like it stutters that much, if that makes sense. So it's regardless of what the frame rate is, it's still a very smooth gameplay experience. So yeah, definitely, definitely really good, especially with uh, frame rates that are a little bit lower than I was expecting. Now I am playing this game through Windows right now, and it is possible to get these games running on SteamOS, which is pretty good. So far, I haven't seen people getting banned with that method, so if you want to play this game on SteamOS and a couple of the other gacha games on SteamOS, then it seems to be possible. But as we're playing right now, as you can see here, still very, very playable. Now, this game really benefits from a controller um, instead of touch controls, in my personal opinion. So honestly, with like the Steam Deck, having a controller built into itself is really a huge advantage to it. It means that you don't have to pay separately to buy a separate controller to get the best experience which is awesome but i feel like for this specific type of game where it's like super action-packed lots of things going on really fast-paced i feel like having something like a controller definitely is the superior experience versus like the touch controls on say like a mobile phone or a tablet so yeah i'm gonna let the gameplay go on and we'll move on to the next game after a little bit of no commentary so yeah Alright, so moving on to the next game, which is Weathering Waves. This game also released around this year, so it's still relatively new, so yeah. Um, open world game, and as you can see here, we're basically playing at low to medium settings, um, trying to target that 60 FPS at the native 800p resolution that the Steam Deck offers, so yeah. Um, I will say that this game surprisingly ran a lot worse than I expected. Um, Genshin Impact in a similar like genre runs much much better on the Steam Deck than this game is. I'm not sure what's going on with the optimization of Wuthering Waves, but as you can see here, we're only hitting around 30 to 40 FPS 
which is kind of crazy to think given that this is a mobile game like my ipad runs this game way better than what the steam deck offers which is kind of strange to say and so for like honestly for like weathering waves unless you can deal with like 30 to 40 fps gameplay honestly like playing on a tablet and a phone is the superior experience unfortunately until they can get these optimization issues cleared out now obviously since this game is also action based you are going to have to spend on a controller for this game but in my opinion performance is subpar on the steam deck and honestly like i cannot recommend playing this game until they iron out all the performance issues with it so yeah i'm going to continue letting the gameplay run here but yeah performance is pretty surprisingly subpar and honestly i'm kind of shocked So wrapping up our gameplay benchmarks, we have Honkai Star Rail. Now this is a pretty popular Hoyoverse game and uh, you know it's been over a year since this game released and it's a pretty good turn-based RPG. Now the fact that this game is a turn-based RPG instead of like an, a quick action-packed one makes this game play way nicer on touch controls than other games and I think that's a pretty big thing. It means that the discrepancy in terms of experience between using a controller versus using like a touchscreen on a tablet as an example is not as big specifically for these types of games so honestly like for honkai star rail i don't think you can go wrong with either or and honestly like that's a good thing that means that you have flexibility in what device you can play this game on and you'll basically have a very nice experience playing on it so yeah Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this gameplay run, and we'll go ahead and wrap it up at the end. Time to twirl! A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> So wrapping up everything at the moment, obviously the Steam Deck will play these games just fine, but comparing say the Steam Deck to like another mobile device that also has these games, which is the better experience? I think it's going to heavily depend mainly on what type of gacha game you are into. Like if you're interested in very simple cookie, cl cookie clicker kind of deals, or you play like a turn-based RPG like Honkai Star Rail kind of deal where there's not a lot of action going on, then honestly just like buying an iPad for these types of games is completely fine. I mean the games work out of the box really with no hassle, all you need to do is just download them from the app store and you're up and running. And for the most part these games don't require controller inputs for like a substantially better gameplay experience. So honestly like for that specific type of gamer then that's completely fine. Otherwise games like Zenless Zone, even Genshin, all these open world or action packed fast paced games that require super precise input will obviously play better with a controller and the Steam Deck being what it is which is a PC handheld with a controller built into it is a pretty good, good argument to go for it over say like the iPad where you have to purchase it separately and it could potentially be way more expensive so do keep that in mind I think for those types of games I think the Steam Deck is the better experience for those and also the fact that the Steam Deck is more than just a gacha gaming 
machine, right? You got this huge library of Steam games that you can play. And honestly, like if you're just a mobile gamer, I honestly strongly encourage trying out at least purchasing a Steam Deck and seeing all the great games that the Steam like store has in store. Because honestly, like with how gaming is on the phone, being able to play super awesome blockbuster AAA games alongside your gacha games is a pretty big selling point for purchasing a Steam Deck versus like an iPad. So yeah. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think you can go wrong with either if you're strictly just a mobile gamer and you plan to only be a mobile gamer, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this weird comparison. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and I'll see you guys later.